Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. Okay, all done. Uh, the forever match um, in the little tin. Made up a, I found a small ferro rod. Made up a um, striker just from an old Nicholson file. N bit. Um, these work reasonably well it fits in the in the um in the tin so that's why i'm i went with that um i'm not going to spark it with this one because these are notoriously single use or very small use items you only strike them a few times and then they pretty well snap um from experience so yeah anyway i've got that there um this is the forever match it did take up a fair bit of wax so yeah um you can see it on the outside there i tried not to put too much of it in there but it took a fair bit of wax in and it, it just soaked it up so yeah hopefully that i didn't want to soak too much of it in there but yeah you can see it on the outside there fair bit in there but anyway let's see how we go um usual procedure is to fluff up the fluff up the outside bits here and this is very wax impregnated I don't know how well this is going to take a spark I think it went too heavy on the wax, but anyway. Maybe use the other side. That is very wax impregnated. If it does take up a spark, it is going to burn very well. But like with all these things, it's a matter of getting it to take a spark being so impregnated. This is what I didn't want. Anyway, I'll try and draw the spark into that. Sorry, this is boring. Just from experience, um, this stuff doesn't take a spark if it's not fluffed up. See how that goes. I'm gonna use my 10 inch drive a few sparks into it and see what happens.
Yeah, it's those fluffy bits that take it, but... Once the jig goes, oh yeah, yeah, good. Once you get the jute going, as expected, the wax will just make it burn a lot better and you can adjust the flame using the snuffer. That works all right, yeah. I like that. And I think now that it's burned off a bit, it might be able to fluff up a bit better. That wasn't as dramatic as I'd envisioned because I thought it was very impregnated with things. So yeah, that's um not a bad solution. Yeah, I'm glad I made that up. But anyway, and then to put it out, <sighs> simple as that. <sighs> and that is very hot. Yeah, don't touch that because. Normally they you make them a lot longer, but I didn't I wanted it to fit in that little tin So that was why I'd um I'd done that and I think that will take a spark reasonably easily now Because Without too much of a drama because It's all been fairly fluffy fluffed up and I say now that it's been sparked up yep no dramas no that's good once you get it burning yeah, yeah, that's that's the key to it. Yeah, and the wax makes it burn a lot longer and a lot slower. And this wasn't—I didn't impregnate this with um, potassium nitrate because I found it doesn't help. So yeah, it's just wax impregnated, and I just used beeswax. So yeah. And you just put it out like that. Don't touch that because it's going to be bloody hot. But yeah, I like that. That's a, a forever match. Just a, a jute, wax impregnated jute, 10 mil jute thing. Uh, line. And I made it up so that it'll fit in that tin. And with a ferro rod and striker so that it all fits in there. But... Like I said, those little ferro rods don't last very long. The thin ones, um, you only get a couple of strikes out of them because they're so thin. But um, yeah, I, I wanted to include a ferro rod in this, in the, in there, just to make sure that um, I had a way of lighting it, just in case I didn't have a ferro rod with me with the system. So uh, ferro rod with me, and I wanted to make sure I had a ability to light the system there so yeah and you just roll it up like that just so that it fits back in the tin all flat put your striker and ferro rod it all fits back in there neatly without too much drama and even the lid goes back on not a bad little system I wanted to revisit the um, the forever match I've um, been seeing a few of them around and I'd had, I'd had mixed results with um, them because I was fooling around with potassium nitrate and that doesn't help at all um, it just actually it, it inhibits it I think so yeah um, just go with the wax and um, yeah um, 
just another tool in your toolbox for um, for these sort of things. I look with the um, the longer snuffers, you can use them to light fires with, like uh, light light your fire and that. But because I wanted it to fit in that tin, I couldn't put a longer piece of tube. So I just have to hold it by the end of it and just because it, it's fairly stiff I can do that but anyway yeah anyway that's the follow-up for my other video that I just made anyway thanks for watching